Um, I want to open by stating that I have read NAB's policy on climate change and I'm very familiar with it. Yep. And I know it's about as watertight as a tea bag. I noticed that two weeks ago, Ross McEwen, you were presented with an award for being a greenwasher. Now, I had to look up the term myself, but discovered this. The Corporate Finance Institute defines the term greenwashing as when the management team within an organisation makes false, unsubstantiated or outright misleading statements or claims about the sustainability of a product or a service, even about a business's operations more broadly. I also noted that the day after your running with activists, NAB published a news release titled Facts in Relation to NAB's Lending to the Thermal Coal and Oil and Gas Sectors. In this statement, you make the following claim, that NAB is not financing any new thermal coal mining projects and has not done so since 2015. This claim is very misleading, and Ross, I assume that making such false, misleading and untrue claims such as this is one of the reasons you received uh, your, award for, your award for greenwashing. Now, while NAB might not be directly financing new, new coal mines, the bank is directly financing at least 10 companies who are rapidly expanding the fossil fuel projects uh, through co corporate financing. For example, NAB is still financing Whitehaven Coal, the biggest undiversified coal mining company on the Australian share market. This is a company which does nothing other than mine coal and is using NAB's money, that is hundreds of millions of our shareholders of dollars right now to develop three new massive coal mines, thermal coal mines, Vickery, Narrabi Stage 3 and Winchester South. These are projects that NAB is getting off the ground right now and would operate for many decades to come even when they are no longer on NAB's books. I have two questions that I would like answered. As I've said, I've read your climate policy. Have you read the International Institute for Sustainable Development's report, which was a comprehensive review of pathways that limit warming to 1.5 degrees and stated that developing new oil and gas fields is incompatible with limiting temperature ri uh, rises to 1.5 degrees? Or have you read the Inst International Energy Agency's report that states that no new coal mines, oil or gas fields can be developed under a 1.5 degree warming limit? And if you have read these, how do you justify financing companies with new and expanding coal projects? Thank you. <coughs> you failed your own test, so the question was substantially the same as the previous ones. Can That's not I, answer, I have a second question one, to that. Yeah. My second question is, uh, I'm sorry, will you commit to stop corporate financing oh. to companies who are building new and expanding fossil fuel projects that will operate well beyond NAB's financial involvement? Again, I appreciate an answer. Again, you. you have failed your own test, so thank you. Can you point out how I failed my own test, please? You've please. asked the same question that every other questioner has asked. 